Alright, welcome again to Safe Guns, Fun Guns Review. And I know the last, uh, last episode or last video I just did, I said I was going to actually review all the holsters at once. Kind of breaking it down for those people that don't want to watch a whole video just to get a quick snippet of one holster or not. So uh, I apologize for saying that at the beginning of the last one, but we're going to move on to uh, some of the concealed carry holsters that I have that I use uh, for my 1911 again. Um, so the first one is the one I've actually just recently retired. It is uh, the Blade Tech for the 1911 holster. Uh, it is U.S. made where that ounce of the waistband one is actually made from Israel, just like uh, my Desert Eagle is actually an Israel made gun. Um, so, see, it's, it's pretty sleek. It's very little bit on there. And you can see there. See, because this is an inside the waistband holster, uh, this particular holster has a very slight the slight tension grip there to help retain the weapon but uh, most of the inside the waistband holsters don't really have much of a retention uh, factor now technically this is made for the government model of the 1911 but mine again like I said my 1911 is the C9 so it's the commander which is just a little shorter this still works for it um, I'll tell you the uh, big thing that I think I biggest issue with this thing is it, because it is a hard plastic as you can hear that and because of where I keep it this thing tends to bend like that now if you see the marks on there see those marks yeah you can see it pretty good there those marks was actually uh, causing my thumb safety to come unengaged, uh, which actually makes it quite dangerous. I do rely on the thumb safety a little bit, even though you never want to completely rely on the safety, which I don't completely rely on it, but I do rely on it to a certain extent. And if it keeps coming off, it could cause things to be a little dangerous. Um, other than that, I mean, it's not a bad holster. I think, again, it's right in that $10 to $15 range. I mean, if you really just can't afford any other holster, it's good. The thing, the biggest thing I dislike about this particular holster is the fact that I can't tuck my shirt in with it. And that is probably the biggest problem I have, is um, trying to tuck in your shirt with this. and. It's just not very good in that sense. Um, but, again, for the dollar amount, if you're on a budget like I am constantly, this uh, Blade Tech is it's not a bad thing. It, it does what it needs it to do. It's nothing special. There's no cool features on it, but it does do the job. Now, I do have to go to the one I bought recently, which also has the feature of tucking it in. So this is my recent concealed carry. It's adjustable. I like it. If you notice, I have mine at a slant because when it sits inside my waistband, I like it to be at an angle or something close to that to make it easier to draw for me. Um, it's leather, so that helps. I think they call it gun hide. But, and it is made by, let's see, DeSantis gun hide holster. Uh, it'll pop up on the screen to let you know how to spell that. I could be pronouncing that wrong. Um, if Amazon has it, I'll, I'll attach a link. Otherwise, I got this actually from Academy. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more than that hard plastic one. However, it is a lot more comfortable. Uh, I actually think this conceals my weapon slightly better. Uh, because it it morphs to the gun much closer and uh, it hugs me closer 
Also, I hugged my waistband pretty close, too. So, uh, I definitely, definitely think that this is perfect low ulcer for me. Now, I keep mine on the last notch, but as you can tell, there's adjusted for people that like their guns up a little higher, which makes a big difference, because you got to find the gun that uh, the holster is going to be the most comfortable for you when you're going to still carry um, But this one, grade A, I love it. Uh, this one is more expensive, like I said. It's closer at $40. But it is a 100% uh, worth its money, uh, especially it, it's still cheaper than some of the others. Uh, it's not as big as some of the others, but yet it still does a job. It still holds my gun firmly in place. It has no, absolutely no retention um, mechanism in there at all. Like the other one doesn't really have one, but it has a slight tension uh, grip to it. This one does not, and that's important. Uh, to know because with this one technically you do have that chance of it falling out even though it would be really hard to uh, it doesn't budge at all it doesn't move at all so I feel pretty safe to say that it probably won't fall out but I count of this one and the other one the blade tech uh, this one has a higher probability even though it probably slightly are. I keep my belts pretty tight, so that probably helps. But anyways, so those are my two uh, inside the waistband holsters that I use for my 1911. One of them I love, just love it. The other one does its job. It's not my favorite, but it does its job. Uh, so that's it. So again, thank you for choosing, uh, choosing to watch this, Safe Guns, Fun Guns. And remember, a safe gun is a fun gun. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.